We've been hearing a lot lately about rock music, and a lot of what we're hearing is disturbing to many. So disturbing that City Council recently passed an ordinance banning kids under 14 from some concerts. Many adults are afraid of the effect the music and lyrics may have on our kids. But are adults overreacting? Tonight, we begin a two-part look at rock and roll. Is it X-rated or just exaggerated? This is a song about putting everything you can into your mouth. Look it up! Shocking? To some, yes. But is it harmful? The music is almost hypnotic, and the child who's not able to deal with that kind of influence is going to be profoundly affected. What is your response to that? I laugh. Because rock and roll to me is such a fun medium that it's, it's tough for me to say the music is dangerous. I think just uh, uh, a person's on stupidity is their danger. Educator Dr. Ivan Fitzwater isn't convinced. These children get so carried away with the music that a lot is delivered to them that they don't even know they're receiving. I don't think we can take that kind of chance with children. It's 944, and uh, before we do leave you, we definitely want to emphasize... John Lyle and Stephen O. Sellers have a popular morning show on rock station KISS. You know, hard rock music, heavy metal music is always the scapegoat. It's been blown out of the portion, proportion to the point that uh, kids that probably never would have even considered any of these records, any of the groups, are now extremely curious. Most of the recent attention has been focused on heavy metal, traditionally the bad boys of rock and roll. The music is foreign to most parents, and they're worried about the kind of message it's sending. On some albums, you'll find songs with obscenities and sexually explicit lyrics, and there are others that get into Satanism, rebellion, and alcohol and drugs. But opponents of rock music tend to lump it all together, and other bands suffer from guilt by association. There are plenty of rock groups out there with philosophical, political, or simply upbeat messages. Their lyrics are far from alarming, but the music is rock and roll. We've been told not to judge a book by its cover. The same is true for an album. This group looks like a typical raunchy heavy metal band. They're actually the Christian rock group Striper. That's not to say that X-rated lyrics and performances don't exist. They're out there. But fans say it's important to put them in perspective. What percentage of the rock music are we talking about? I can't give you an actual figure, but it's definitely the fringe. You know, what would you think? Maybe a two percentage. And these aren't, these aren't necessarily groups that are on national labels. These are groups that are on independent labels that are, you know, almost anybody can press a record these days. For some of these groups, because they are so bad musically, I mean, they've got to have, <laughs> they've got to have a gimmick that just makes everybody go, whoa, look at that, a guy filed his teeth. You know, and I, and I think that's the thing we're seeing that we're afraid of is this gimmick, and they, they get a gimmick. And, and I, the, do the kids know it's a gimmick? I, I would believe so. Everyone agrees that the groups causing the uproar today will be gone tomorrow. Fads come and go, and this one will pass too. The disagreement lies in what effect it will leave behind. You know that, that we're going to someday say, what was the big deal, and we're all going to chuckle. The fad may pass, but it's going to leave some broken children behind. What about the children? They are, after all, at the center of all this. Tomorrow night, we'll hear from them. We'll also talk with a man who says rock music isn't the problem. It's the way we're raising our kids.